The topic is the number sequences. Let's learn what is a sequence. A sequence is an ordered set of numbers, shapes or other mathematical objects arranged according to a rule. Let's take an example over here. Here are the numbers which are multiples of 3. It is following certain order or a rule. In the same way, the next set of number is the square numbers. 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16, 5 square is 25, etc. Here is the shapes pattern. Square, circle, triangle which has been repeated. So it is square, circle, triangle, square and the next one would be circle and a triangle. Step. What is a step? The jump size. Jump size indicates the way you take a step one by one. In numbers, it is the step you jump. That is, we have taken an example of a sequence that is 60 has jumped to 110, 110 has been jumped to 160. What is the step size? The step jump or the step size or the jump size is plus 50. What is a term? Term is one of the number in a sequence. Suppose I take the sequence 1, 3, 5, etc. This number, one of the numbers are all called as the term. Rule. We all follow certain rules. It is very much needed to be disciplined in life. Numbers do follow certain rules and they are connected to each other. A rule tells us how things or numbers are connected. For example, the numbers 3, 7, 11, 15, 19 are connected by the rule add 4 to the previous numbers. So, 3 plus 4 gives us 7, 7 plus 4 gives us 11, 11 plus 4 gives us 15, etc. These numbers are connected with certain rules, that is add 4. Let's investigate. Choose different starting numbers to make a sequence that have a rule add 5. You can choose any starting numbers. Then, find out if these are all possible. Multiples of 5. I have listed here the multiples of 5 and it follows the rules of add 5. Multiples of 10. It's not possible because multiples of 10 follow the rule of add 10. All or numbers. So, it is not possible because if you start with any number, say 1 plus 5, you get 6. So, it is not possible to get all or numbers. The next rule says includes 24 and 39. Here is a sequence which is formed with plus 5 rule. So, we have the number 24 as well as 39. So, it does follow the rule or not a whole number. Here I have taken a decimal numbers. So, it does follow the rule of add 5. Question 1. Here is the beginning of a sequence of numbers. The sequence continues in the same way. Will 88 be in the sequence? Explain how you know. When I look at the sequence 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, I see that they are all multiples of 8 and the number 88 will definitely be in the sequence because 8 lavanza is 88. Question 2. A sequence starts at 200 and 30 is subtracted each time. What are the first two numbers in the sequence that are less than 0? Do subtract with 140 that is 140 minus 30. If we get 110. Take away 30 gives us 80. 
take away 30 gives us 50, take away 30 gives us 20, take away 30 gives us minus 10 and take away 30 gives us minus 40. These two are the numbers which are less than 0. The answer is minus 10 and minus 40. Do remember that 20 take away 30 is 10 and we need to add a minus sign over here because the greater number has the negative sign. Question 3. Fatima makes a sequence of 5 numbers. The first number is 2, the last number is 40. Her rule is add the same number each time. What are the missing numbers? Now we need to first try to find out the difference between the two numbers over here. The difference is 14 minus 2 gives us 12. How many jumps have we moved from 2 to 14? It is 1, 2, 3, 4. Let me divide it by 4. We get 3. So each time we are going to jump by 3. So the first number is 2. Second number is 2 plus 3 giving me 5. Third number is 5 plus 3 giving me 8. The fourth number is 8 plus 3 giving me 11. And the last is 40. Question 4. Copy and complete the sequence. The step size is constant in each sequence. You have to remember that the step size is the constant. Means remains the same throughout the sequence. Let us look at the first one. 0 0.6 has been jumped to 0 0.9. Can you find the difference between the two? Yes. So it is 0 0.9 minus 0 0.6 giving me 0 0.3. So each time you are jumping by 0 0.3. So the next number after 0 0.9 is 0 0.9 plus 0 0.3 giving me 1.2. The next number is 1.2. Plus 0 0.3 gives me 1.5 plus 0 0.3 gives me 1.8. This is the first sequence. B. 5 by 8, 7 by 8. What is the difference? 5 and 7. So we say that every time it is increased by plus 2, the numerator. So the previous number would be minus 2 which gives me 3 by 8. So next is 5 by 8, 7 by 8. Next is 8 ones are 8 plus 1 that is 9 by 8. It has been written in mixed numbers form. Next number would be plus 2 giving me 11 by 8. Or this could be written as 1, 3 by 8, that is 8 ones are 8 plus 3, giving me 11 by 8. Similarly, work out with the remaining sums. Question 7. The first term and the rule of the sequence are given. Write down the next four terms in the sequence. Let's look at A. First term is 8. Let me write 8. Rule is multiply by 2 and add 1. So 8 multiplied by 2 gives me 16 plus 1 gives me 17. Next, 17 multiplied by 2 gives me 34 plus 1 gives me 35. So we need to write 4 terms. So 35 multiplied by 2 gives me a 0 here 5 to the 10 3 to the 6 plus 1 7 plus 1 giving me 71 then 71 multiplied by 2 gives me 142 plus 1 giving me 143 so this is the sequence to work out for b and c